my latest work and it's called aham ahankar or ego i think i should not say that it is my work because it is not cowed by me it is cowed by my colleague shankara who has been working with me for last 37 years and the goal lifting has been done by my friend panduram so actually the first step is to recognize that everybody has contributed to this work and this is not my work so i have to shed my ego first the pandemic of ego has affected the earth right from the dawn of history and it is a very dangerous pandemic much more dangerous than covid and this pandemic continues to be there even today this pandemic has created a lot of conflicts wars killings misery and unhappiness what are the symptoms of this pandemic the symptoms are i am the supreme leader do you know who i am i am going to reduce him to dust i am i am going to crush that country nobody as capable of me exist who can occupy this chair nobody can replace me i am indispensable we are the most superior nation we are the most superior caste we are the most superior race these are the symptoms of this pandemic of ego ego is the greatest enemy of peaceful happy life it is the greatest enemy of truth ego is about who is right truth is about what is right we cover our soul with an impermeable membrane of ego it's like a plastic membrane it stops our soul uh, from responding to the wonderful things around us it uh, we cannot connect with the beautiful world which is given to us the beautiful earth we are inheriting the beautiful life which is given to us and our ego makes us prisoners we become the prisoners of ego and we are in the dark dungeon of misery and unhappiness only when we are able to extinguish the ego our soul shall awaken and we will find happiness buddha has a very beautiful observation on ego he says in a war of egos the loser is the winner I think it's a beautiful observation because when two egos are fighting one who decides to shed the ego and accepts the so called defeat is actually the winner because he is free from ego and he is happier I feel ego is like a drug it's a like a drug trip it's a ego trip it's very similar to the narcotic trip uh, the narcotic trip takes you away from the reality and you might get some temporary pleasure but you will get permanent unhappiness we have anti narcotic cells to tackle this problem of narcotics i think we should also have anti ego cells and if in india we establish a an anti ego cell it does not take much imagination to guess who will be the first prisoner bb borkar one of the poets from goa one of my favorite poets uh, has a very beautiful poem it's in marathi Uh, it goes something like this in marathi jeevan tyana kalale ho mi pan janche pakwa phala pari sahaj panane kalale ho it means only those have understood life whose ego has fallen off easily like a ripe fruit i think it's a very beautiful poem so folks let us take a dip in the river of our conscious and wash our soul let it be free from any ego only then we will be able to really enjoy life let us not compete with our fellow travelers on this cosmic picnic because competitions should be amongst horses not amongst human beings